Thank you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm going to call the Town of Barstable Historical Commission meeting of Tuesday, April 18th, 2023 to order. Um, please, if you have a cell phone, turn it off. Thank you. Notice of recording. Please note that this meeting is recorded and broadcast on Channel 18 in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 20. I must inquire whether anyone is taping this meeting and to please make their presence known. No one's taping the meeting. Acting under the provisions of the Code of the Town of Barnesville, Section 112-1 through 112-7, the Historical Commission will hold a public hearing on the following applications. The following applications have been determined significant and were referred to a public hearing. The first is the continued application of the Terry L. Simpson Trust, 525 South Main Street, Centerville, MAP 206, parcel 068, built in 1770. Do we need to roll call of those? Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, actually, we don't because we're a person, but you could, oh, you could introduce the members. Okay. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll do a roll call now. Um, Nancy Shoemaker? Here. Uh, George Jessup? Here. Barbara DeBasey? Here. Fran Parr's here. Thank you. Okay. The Simpson, Terry L. Simpson Trust? Yeah, Ted Schilling and uh, Ron. Okay. Uh, we'll need you on the You're going to start, right, Ron? Sure. You want to sit right up there? Yeah. Talk to Ted this one. For applicants, I just need you on the microphone to so, uh, join us at the table and sign in. Go. Oh, thank you. It's nice to see you all in person. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it is strange, isn't it? Yeah, I was it's wondering if that would ever happen again. Yeah. We have to wear our shoes now. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> At least. Oh, pants on. <laughs> I wasn't going to go. <laughs> Thanks. As opposed to pajamas. <laughs> so, okay, the floor's uh, yours. We, we were before you last month, and um, Gordon was presenting, Gordon Clark, he, um, is still in Florida, so I'm the uh, general contractor, uh, Ron Welch from Kenwin Welch. Uh, you asked uh, that we show the windows on the rear dormer of the existing house, which um, uh, Gordon, by accident, didn't have on that plan. So he put them on, and that's what it's going to look like, and that's where we're at. <clears throat> any questions? Any questions any? about the windows? Mm. No. You okay, George? No. I'm trying to think of something that's a little more appropriate, if I can, uh, a little better way to show windows. What's the function of the room behind? Is that bedroom or? Uh... Uh, they're both bedrooms, yeah. Huh. yeah. Is there a window in the side of the dormer? Yes. Well, not in the side of the dormer, but on the gable ends. There's two uh, existing windows on the yeah. gable ends. Hmm. And how's the, where's the ceiling height in relation to the height of those windows? I'm wondering if the dormer could be higher because it's not part of that gable, and, uh, gable roof. So if it were under, uh, if the dormer were higher, closer to the chimney, you could raise that uh, wall plate and um, put taller windows in. I just don't know where the ceiling is in relation to those windows inside. I, if, if you follow me? Yeah, can I get up? Do you mind yeah, if I right. get up away from that? Yeah. So this, you see this here? Be careful. Yeah, I, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, saw, oh, yeah. I was at one of the local meetings recently, and every time the, every the, super, the superintendent of... Uh, DPW got close, the thing jumped, so that, that's, that's the roof line right there. Yeah. Right, George? So I'm, I'm wondering if where the ceiling line is on the inside. Is that right there at the yeah, top of the, the window? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the ceiling line there. Oh, okay. And this is, this is uh, attic above and ceiling line there. We, we, well, it's something to think about. We only have this here, George, because this is, you know, this was the existing dormer. And we're trying to, you know, Do you want to work with what's there? We're yes. trying to, anyways. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Or maybe uh, that's a that's a single window. Yes. Yeah. And that's what was in the original 
dormer had windows in it like well they were a little bit smaller but basically like that. that's wider so that you take up more wall space with the window you follow me mm -hmm. I don't know how big that window is um, that that looks like it's a square window uh, six lights yeah it's yeah it's they might make an eight light that would be uh, another eight inches wider uh, and you might uh, get a little bit, I don't assume that those are original uh, size panes, but you might get wider, half again, as wide as the window is now. It's something for you to look at Okay. as an option. Because uh, the, obviously the more window you can get in the dormer, the better it looks. Yeah. I'd still be aware of just how much snow piles up on the roof. Yeah. Can't I would be, want to open the window to pull Can't be seen stuff. from the street or any other angle. You no. Know? It's, it's just the function of the room itself. Uh, okay. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? No. Any public comment? No? I'm gonna then I'm going to close the hearing on the Terry L. Simpson Trust. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any other comments from the committee? No? Who would like to do the motions? I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, Moni, the application and associated materials, the significant building at 525 South Main Street Centerville is a preferably preserved significant building. A vote. Aye or nay. I will impose an 18-month delay. Nay will not impose an 18-month delay. Nancy Shoemaker? Nay. George Jessup? Nay. Nay. Yes, thank you. Um, Barbara? Nay. Fran Parks? Nay. I move that in accordance with Section 112-3F. The Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 525 South Main Street, Centerville, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. Um, Nancy Shoemaker? Second. George? Yes, second. Second, okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, Aye. George? Aye. Uh, Barbara? Aye. And I, I vote aye. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Very nice uh, presentation. Thank you. <laughs> Next up is Bill, Bill Saint. Is that correct? Thank you. Uh, 358 Flint Street, Marston's Mills, Map 101, Parcel 121, built 1800. Partial demolition replacement of foundation to the historical house. Revised additions to the left rear of the house and a new deck in, attached to car garage. So I am here, I'm Jean Bowden for York Building and Remodeling. Matt York couldn't be here, but I did watch the presentation when the night, the day you had it, and I watched it again today, this morning, to refresh my memory. But I know he had to refile to come back, I'm sorry, That's to come back, I'm not used, yeah, um, used to the Zoom, I mean, no. Um, he had to refile to revise the filing that was done in 20, March, I guess it was uh, 2021. And he came here and he wanted, the, the, these also, the only thing he's doing to the main part of the Josh Hamblin house is to raise it up and put a more safe and not crumbling foundation under it. And then in the rear, there were additions, and he is adding to it. And because there were changes from the um, what was approved back in 2021, you asked him to come back um, to do this again to, um, you know, because there's some changes. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, he filed it and he presented the new information and 
a site plan that showed exactly what's going to be done now. So basically, it's more that the additions in the back were built over a period of, I don't know, I guess the, when I looked at the meeting, I didn't realize they've been, they're from 2000 to 2010, and that's where the work, the new additions are going to be, whereas the main house is mostly just to get rid of that old foundation and make it a little more secure. So... Um, So where are the new additions? There, the, new, the older additions are there, and he's adding. See, you, looking at this doesn't show that it's yeah. back. Okay. It's more in the back. That picture makes it look like it's coming mm -hmm. off of the main house, but really the additions are coming off of the old the additions that were built in 2001 to 2010. I'm not quite sure. So I think some of the issue here as well is that these additions had been previously approved, approved. but now they are being uh, now they are being proposed in a with a different design than right. they were originally. Uh, they're similar, yeah. but they definitely are different. Yeah, and that was why he when he came here, I think he it was should have been a revision. So right. this is a revision of the original one plus adding in plus the, the, the lifting up the house, and he explained yeah. it in. The meeting, how he was going to lift, you know, put that foundation in. And, um, I remember someone saying they liked the new additions, actually maybe better than the original one. Yeah. I'm familiar with that house because I lived in Barnstable for like 40 years, and um, historic houses. <laughs> I'm very skilled at working with them and keeping them safe. Did the original uh, submission from 2021 include the gables on the uh, dormer? Um, it's, it would seem that, to me that that that's was already there. I believe that was, I think, there. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like clutter. Whereas, uh, yeah, shed dormer would be much less clutter, and. The building at the front, which is the original, would stand out a lot more. Well, I think it's the way. It's, I think those gable it's ends the way it's drawn. draw it's attention. It's more back. You yeah, know? there's a there's a trick that we used to use with pencil, where you would erase. If you look at that, around the original, show, so that go. it pops. Sure shows where they. You can't do that with computers, but. Right, right. You can see that I still draw my pencil for that reason. Set back. It's not like right up right. front the way that yeah. rent, that elevation shows. Which I think is better because they're not really doing any, not removing historic material of the old house. Well, that's good. And when the power goes off, you've got the old house with the smaller rooms that's right. condensed the heat. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think it's a beautiful house. Any other questions or comments from the committee? Any public comment? No public comment. I'll accept a motion to close the hearing. I move that we close the hearing. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Finish filling this. Request to do the motions. I will if nobody else wants to. <laughs> um, I'm warming this, up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is relating to the house 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills, Map 101, Parcel 121, built 1800. Owners are Corey and Kevin Vils Vilsant, uh, or Vilsaint. Partial demolition, replacement of foundation of the historical house. Historic, it should be, actually. <coughs> Uh, revised additions to the left rear of the house with new deck and attached two-car garage. I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials, the significant building at 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills, is a preferably preserved significant building. Second. Second. An I vote will impose an 18-month delay. A nay vote will not impose an 18-month delay. Nancy Shoemaker? Nay. George Jessup? Nay. Cheryl Powell? I'm going to 
Lord's Day on the basis I didn't hear the I heard the one last time, but I did not hear the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, I was one of those who said I liked what you were doing. Yeah. Um, Fran Parks, yes. I. Barbara. Barbara? Nay. I'm sorry, Fran Parks, nay. Um, all right. Uh, I move that in accordance with section 112-3F, the Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 358 Flint Street, Marsons Mills is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. Is there a second? Second. An I vote determines that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental and no demolition delay will be imposed. Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Cheryl? No, oh, sorry, Cheryl. Again, just yeah. um, Barbara? Aye. In Frame Parks, I vote aye. So, you were all set. You were all set. Thank you very much. I went to camp there when it was Fair Acres. Oh, and, I, and I knew the fairs. Yeah, I yeah. love that area. Yeah, thank you. Not have a nameplate for you, Cheryl. Sure. Did you get one of these? Um, I can. Once we get a pause in the action, let me get this one up and running, and then I'll go look. Okay. So next is um, Richard and Jones Scudder, 171 Main Street, Centerville, Map 208, Parcel 081081001, built 1930. Does South Main? It does. It yeah. South. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Larry Nicholas. I'm here representing the Scudders. I'm the builder on the project. Uh, the project before you is an 18 by 18 addition to the existing house. Uh, there was a we'll call it a bedroom wing, which was added onto the house in 1994. This 18 by 18 addition is going over the roof section of the uh, mud room, washer dryer room, which is below, which attaches the uh, addition to the main house. There's one room. On the rear elevation, you're showing first and second floor as being new. Is is well, that siding would be new, but that the, the, that, that door first no floor room. is coming out as as it has been. It's not nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Okay. It, right. Exactly. So, boy, that looks awkward as hell. Uh, I'm, I'm in your package. I'm trying to. Yes, you said in the package. In the package, it shows a, I believe, a better elevation, a complete elevation of the existing house. Does it show a roof plan? Yes, it does. Um, that would be helpful. Wait, I, it will help you. Yes, one second. Let me get it for you. Is the um, and I loved your comment about the CAD systems because it's hard to show. It really is. You know, I don't do it. I use pencil because I'd rather think about what I'm drawing than how I'm drawing it. I have some of the copies here if other members would like to. Yeah, we can share one down here. So we can see that it's well away from the existing building. Can I see one? Thank you. section rather than the plain outline section, right? So that is the existing um, structure as of today. The whole thing? Yes. And we're adding... And you're putting the second floor on it, I see. Yes. Just over between... If you... that What you're seeing, the far left is the bedroom addition that was done in 94, and that will go right above the door entrance, which is basically the walkway mudroom to the house. In between... I'm looking to carry a roof line up. <clears throat> Let 
the um, that ridge 90 degrees and make it a continuation of the existing ridge line. Where, where I'm sorry, could you? You see how the ridge of the new addition is, is left to right instead of front to back? Yes. If it were rotated 90 degrees, it would be front to back. Then it would be a continuation of the plane of the roof to the left. No. No. Oh. It would appear to be, but that's the problem with these drawings. Yes. Uh, do you want me to come around and show you a little bit better on that? Well, I've got a pencil. I assume that we're going up here, right? No, we're going here. Yes. We're going here. This is, this is the actual construction right there. Yeah, I'm looking to do this. A continuation like this. The continuation of the roof of the portion that's on the left hand side rather than across, I'd rather see it like so, coming up this way. The reason why the roof, but and you can see this elevation here. Then it doesn't look like you just stuck it on there. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Even if it means building extra roof over, laid over an existing roof. So these, this is south facing here. And we have the windows. Whoop. No touch. It's touch. <laughs> so that would be in that attic section, just above the eight foot mark. So it's in the attic. Some, get some light coming into that addition. You could do that with a skylight. If it's just for the light and air, you could do it with a skylight. And it would look an awful lot more like it, it was intended to be part of the original design rather than stuck on as a uh, as a minimal structure. It's done like that when you don't want to build another inch of roof or another inch of wall space. And I'd rather see roof overlaid on an existing roof that carries the line throughout the structure rather than just just squared up on top of it. You follow me? It's kind of a shallow pitch below that. Well, what are you trying to do with it? it what, the room itself? Just yeah, the room itself is a Bruce, bedroom. Uh, Mrs. Joan Scudder is an artist. And uh, Joan. That's me. Okay. And she's, <laughs> that is going to be where she is working Hello. in drawing. Yeah. It's spread all, all through the house now, and they need to get some of the bedrooms back. And uh, so it's going to be basically for her an area for Joan. Yeah, well, there's, there's still a storage area to be gained, even though you don't have what it doesn't look like you have. But I still like the idea of rotating that ridge 90 degrees and making that roof slope part of the existing building. Steve, if I may. Yeah. Uh, Steve Cook, ahead, to Steve. a bit design. I'm the designer of this project. Oh, I knew that. So I'm a, I saw your title block. Right, so for the record. Um, so there is a low pitch roof on it. We're just adding a second floor with the roof on it, but there is the section on the right that you couldn't see it, and it's probably in the photographs, is a full, is a roof with dormers on it. You can see that gable dormer. So we're, so we're, we're matching, that, we're matching that main roof yeah. line, yeah. yeah. And then there's a, you know, a cricket going over that roof on the left. So. Did you try turning the ridge? Well then, yeah, but then these, th then these two gables are one on top of each other. So that's why we, you say you have a gable on the main house. We have a roof line with a wall on the middle section, we have a gable here. So if you had, if you had a gable on the left, then you have a big gable. It's like gable on top of gable with another gable to the right. So we're trying to trying to break up the roof line. You don't have three big gables there. You know, that's that's the reason we went with that design. You do have uh, in the photograph there. You do have the existing roof planes. Can we back up to that? There you go. Right. Yeah, the existing roof planes. So if, if, if we had the... So this cricket's being added here. Yeah. That's added cricket. Yeah. yeah. Added cricket. to hit that wall. Yeah. And those, those three awning windows are up high on the wall. 
they're bringing a light from the south side, but then there's a cricket behind there, you know, behind that roof line. I'm sorry, what is a cricket? It's just like a, a, a roof over a roof to shed water off, okay. so you don't have um, water going into a, a valley and get stuck. So, Got it. Thank you. Yeah. So that's, that's the reason why we designed it that way, so you wouldn't have three gables, one on top of each other. <coughs> Well, okay. Anybody else? No, do you I, see what I, I'm talking about? Yes, I do. I see what you're saying, but I actually think that the, what they've done is to try to maintain the character by balancing out the gables. That's the way I'm perceiving it. It makes more sense. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. And as for the art room, you can't dictate what the rooms are used for. No, but your placement of windows and uh, yeah. et cetera. <laughs> My uh, thought was so. Okay. I wish the peaks were the same height, the two, but. Well, that's why I wanted to make it a continuation mm -hmm. of that slope. It's so about 12 it's inches. Well, it's yeah. not. It's really not that when you spread it. Mm. Right. Okay. Any other public comment? No. So. I'm okay. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Oh, I'm sorry. This needs to be a needs to be a uh, roll call. Nancy. Uh, I yes. I. George. Aye. Cheryl. Aye. Barbara. I vote yes. I vote aye. Okay. Who would like to do the? I'll be happy to. Okay. So uh, on the motion with regard to the application from Stuttered, Richard and Joan, 171 South Main Street, Centerville, Map 208, Parcel. 081 backslash 001, built of roughly 1930, uh, partial demolition construct, an 18 by 18 second floor addition to be built over the side entrance, which was constructed during the 1994 re-roofing. I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials, a significant building at 171 South Main Street, Centerville, is a preferably preserved significant building. Is there a second? I'll second that, Nancy Shoemaker. Okay. An I will impose an 18-month delay. A nay will not impose an 18-month delay. Nancy? Nay. George? Nay. Cheryl? Aye. Oh, no, so, nay. Sorry. Nay. <laughs> sorry about that. Barbara? Nay for me. And I for nay. Okay, so we got the nay. Sorry about that. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> So, uh, I move that in accordance with section 112-3F, the Barnesville Historical Commission determines that the, partial de that the partial demolition of the building located at 171 South Main Street, Centerville, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. An I vote, <coughs> excuse me, an I vote determines that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental, no demolition delay imposed. We need a second. Is there a second? Oh, sorry. Oh. Thank you. Um, roll call, Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Cheryl? Aye. Barbara? Aye. And I vote aye. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It looks very nice. Beautiful. Good luck with your, with your, with your artwork. It's Next is um, Michael Bronstein, is that correct? 132 Point of Pines Avenue, Centerville, map 230, parcel 064, built in 1940. <clears throat> Good afternoon. For the record, my name is James Bustamante with Longfellow design build. I'm here on behalf of our client, Michael Bronstein of Hawkington, Mass. Um, the structure at 132 Point of Pines was built in, in, a, in around 1940. Um, the existing structure over the years has had um, upgrades to, or I don't, I don't even want to say upgrades to the house. Um, the existing structure has um, white cedar shingle siding. Um, the front has a vinyl uh, clap siding on the on the front. Um, the windows and doors um, are also uh, have been replaced with vinyl windows. 
Um, we are proposing a full demolition of the structure and the foundation. <laughs> we had a structural engineer, uh, Tom Galvin, <coughs> PD, um, out on site to review the existing framing as well as the ex existing foundation block wall. Um, what he found um, since the wind load changes from 1950 until now that there would be such significant changes that would need to be made to both the framing, the roof rafter system, the foundation block wall, um, <coughs> and to bring everything up to code. Um, it, it wouldn't be worth it to our client. Uh, that's why we're coming to, to you today to present a uh, full demolition of the house and foundation. I'm happy to answer any questions. Yes. Looks to me like the neighborhood is upscaling. Yeah. Nice yeah. Three-quarter cape. <laughs> it's no longer summer cottages. Mm -hmm. What we can see in the building next to it. <clears throat> no other comments? <clears throat> Any public comment? Motion to close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, not here today. Um, Nancy? Aye. Oh, I. Yeah. George? Oh, you're doing it. Barbara? Cheryl? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Who's going to do the motions? <clears throat> Bernstein, Michael, 132 Point of Pines Avenue, Centerville, Matt, 230, parcel 064, built 1940 for full demolition. Demo entire structure, including foundation. I move that after, <coughs> excuse me, after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and associated materials, a significant building at 132 Point of Pines Avenue, Centerville, is a preferably preserved significant building. I'll second that. Nancy Shoemaker. I will impose an 18-month delay. Nay will not impose an 18-month delay. Nancy? Nay. George? Nay. Nay. Cheryl? Nay. Barbara? Nay. And I vote nay. All right. So we go down to the next. I move that in accordance with Section 112-3F, the Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the full demolition of the building located at 132 Point of Pines Avenue, Centerville, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, or, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. And I vote. I'll second that. Oh, is there a second? Thank you. And I vote determines that the full demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental. No demolition delay is imposed. <clears throat> Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Cheryl? Aye. Barbara? And I vote aye. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. You too. Next is uh, <coughs> remarkable. Thank you. <coughs> Doesn't happen all the time. No. Hillary Blocker, 53 Maple Ave, Hyannis, Map 307, Parcel 086, built in 1920. Um, I'm Hillary. I'm the building owner. Really love this little house that I bought. That is a little kooky because if you see in the pictures, there's this um, a vinyl clad garage. It was a garage. Now it's a shed off the back of the house. That's seven feet off the house. So on this for scale, because for, this whole wall is this corners the kitchen, and then it's like a walkway. So this whole section here is to come down, and then that's the addition. With the, so expanding the kitchen, then a mud room, and then a new garage, because this is a mold fest. So, <laughs> it's, it's what? A mold fest. Mold. I'm oh. so allergic. Every time I walk in there, my eyes immediately start watering. <laughs> so it's that lovely um, <clears throat> thing. Oh, yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, well, it's holding up the solar nicely. Barely. But other than Barely. That. It rains into the building, actually. <laughs> it's yeah, it's, yeah. So you're removing... The garage and that back wall Just for the, the new addition. It says kitchen, but what you really mean that one wall. It, yeah, yeah. That, and that's going to become the new kitchen. Kind of gets pushed out if you see on that. 
So they be connected? Yeah. So see this, this is that wall that I pointed out in that other drawing. So now the new kitchen is pushed out that seven feet. And then there's a mud room. And then this is a two car garage attached. Uh. Or actually, sorry, three car garage attached. Because if you're going to build it, you may as well build what you want. It's are you rebuilding a three-car garage? No, Brand new. It's all new. I know, but are you going to same size, roughly? Or? No, no, no. The, what's there now? Go if you go back to that over that. Uh, so, oh. no, the air, yeah, they more. win. <laughs> that one right there. Yep. But what's there now is this. See the little is it's, uh -huh. it's this um, Jenga piece. Oh here, yeah. That's the existing. Okay. Yeah. Is that a one-car garage? It, it's <coughs> not anything. It, they sealed it up. I think originally it was a two-car garage based on the structure on the inside. Uh, did you ask me? Yeah. Um, but it's all been sealed up. It's completely, there's just two doors. So on. now you have a door on the front and a door on the back so you can access the pool, right? <laughs> Going, and listen, I thought that was brilliant. You can drive straight through. Yeah. Like your, <clears throat> your equipment. Right. Like if you have to bring anything out. I thought... Yeah, I thought I was being clever. Yeah. Hard time, George. <laughs> oh, I give everybody a hard time. He does. So I got to make them work for their money. I know. So, so we're only uh, de de you are only demolishing that back the, wall. That back wall, half of that. Yeah, just the first back. floor. Yeah, yeah. and then hooking the whole with. thing in. Yeah. Appropriate, you know. So and then if you go to the. Um, I don't know which one's the better picture. Yeah, All right, wait, wait, no, go back one minute. Stop. <laughs> so this is, this wall here, that's the existing foundation. Well, you're pushing the whole wall back so you don't have a problem with a dormer or a shed roof. Yeah, the whole thing's getting pushed out. Uh -huh. And then that's the gable that you love in the middle. <laughs> and then, like, this is a little, this is the mud room connecting to the garage. Uh, and I want it to look like a barn because I want it to look appropriate to the. the I'm surprised you didn't do a man sized room. But. Well, it, 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 it wouldn't match the rest of the house because the rest I know, of the house. No, but it looked more like a barn. Yeah, but I wanted it to no, kind of look the, like it belonged. Yeah, that's, that's quite all right. Because it was like, I have a whole bunch of weird gables already on the front that well, are already there. Character. And the barn should be uh, at least the same period as the house. Yeah, so I wanted or to newer. Look, yeah, so I, and I want to make you know the headers. So I wanted it to look because if you see that line, that's the original in the front. Yeah. So this mimics. Yeah. So it wouldn't be uh, choppy. And then it gives you the um, room for regular windows. Yeah. <coughs> so you, I. I Go ahead, Frank. I have a question. Are those on the connector? Is that three doors? Yes. So one is into the kitchen, one is into the mudroom, and the other one is into the garage. Okay. Actually, and accessing the stairs to the upstairs in the garage is the one on the far left. Is that center door taller than the two side doors on the garage? Um, or is maybe? it because it's in shadow? No, I think it's going to be slightly taller to make, to break up the wall. Mm -hmm. So you don't have like equipment through. But also, it doesn't look like garage, 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 like a like a like storage a three unit. Garage, yeah. It's, well, it broke it up to yeah. make it like more pleasant to the eye. And you put some pergolas out in front of it. Oh no, that's just a side wall. So. Okay, thank you for zooming on it. I appreciate it. So I was that. thinking the clapboard on, on board and batten. That, is that board and batten? Right? Board and batten on the bottom to yes. make it look like a separate building. And then shingles on the top to tie it into the rest of the house. The same cedar shingles. I think that has a very nice effect. Yeah, I think it would. And you have captured that barn. Yeah. Almost like a. Well, you can ask my architect. I've been driving around in the town taking pictures and shooting them to her like constantly for like a year now. Going, doesn't this look nice? It's <laughs> not a bad thing to do. Yeah. I, I've never done this, so I'm trying. This is probably the one. I'm, I'm a one and done, so and you've I'm excited. And you actually enjoy doing it. I guess I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. 
So are we good? Okay. Any other questions? Any public comment? No. So I'll take a motion to close the public hearing. I move that we close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Roll call vote. Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Cheryl? Aye. Barbara? Aye. Fran Parks, I vote aye. And who would like to do the motions? I'll do it. Sure. Please. <coughs> Maple Avenue Hyannis, map 307, parcel 086, built 1920. Parcel demolition, removing this 22-foot existing kitchen wall that should be put in there. Yeah, wall. I agree with you should put And garage shed to expand existing kitchen, including new mudroom and garage. I move that after review and consideration of public testimony, the application and assorted materials, the significant building at 53 Maple Avenue, Hyannis, is a preferably preserved significant building. I second that. Second that. All right. I second and second it with the wall inserted. With the word wall. With the wall yeah. after. Yes, yeah. I have seconded it with that. Um, Nancy? I'm sorry, an I vote will impose an 18 month delay, and nay vote will not impose an 18 month delay. Uh, Nancy Shoemaker, nay. George? Nay. Cheryl? Nay. Barbara? Nay. And I vote nay. All right, thank you. Oh, we have one, one more. more. One more. <coughs> oh, this one with the round robin. Oh my gosh. I move that in accordance with section 112 3F. The Barnstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 53 Maple Avenue, Hyannis, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. Your second? I'll second that. An I vote determines that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental and no demolition delay is imposed. Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Cheryl? Aye. Barbara? Aye. And I vote aye. Now you're all set. Now you can go now. <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot. Good luck. I know. Five years later when it's done, right? <laughs> Lozada Jennifer, 451 Main Street, Katuit, map 022, parcel 023, built 1895. We should remove existing porch and construct a screen, screened-in porch. Uh, uh, good Madam, afternoon. Madam Hello. Chair, I am going to recuse on the. I'm going to recuse on this one. Okay. So I will step out. Uh, my name is Peter Volmer, uh, contractor for Gen Lozada. Um, pretty simple. Just uh, remove an existing sun deck that is uh, in disrepair, and she'd like to replace it with a screened in um, porch. Um, I, we were able to find at the last minute a picture um, of the house with an existing porch in the same location. It's a slightly different design, um, but there was one at one point. I made a few copies. It's the same house or a different house? No, same house. Same, same house. Um, just in previous years. Um, that she was no. able to locate in the last minute. Um, oh, it shows, yeah, I see. That's typical. We've, uh, typical you know, it's era. been drawn with the gable roof instead of just a shed roof. Um, Although. And then the, you know, all of, most of the aesthetics will stay in keeping with the house, you know, white trim, you know, match roofing, shingles, um, all that stuff. Do you want to see the drawings? Yes, please. No, we're going to match the existing. Aren't we? We're going to do what was there before and look at what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, you're just going to screen the opening? <coughs> or are you going to make removable screen panels? Um, well, they'll just be screen panels um, that'll be, you know, removable if need be repair, but semi-permanent, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, because we had a screen porch on our house uh, where I grew up in Rhode Island, and one of the things that I liked about it was uh, <coughs> in the winter storm, 
yeah. it became an enclosed room with all the ice and snow that <laughs> got trapped in the screen. Mm -hmm. Of course, it meant every four years we had to replace the screens because they'd rust out. Yeah. But the uh, I've seen some where they had uh, panels that actually, uh, like a garage door, went above the ceiling. Yeah. And uh, panels swung up to hide. Yeah, it. I mean, the, and the only thing I'll say, you know, is we may have to add some kind of a mid rail to the screen panels. I would. Just to, because sometimes when you have a large section <coughs> of screen, they don't hold up with the wind. Mm -hmm. So, but other than that, you know, it'll be a full screen from the, you know, line down to the deck. One of the other nice things about it, if you have a door, you're going to have a bar on the door. Right. Yeah, so we'd probably yeah, horizontal carry... Horizontal bar for your latch. We'll probably carry a horizontal bar around. A tunnel that matches it. Right. Get by the yeah. door first. Yep. I went through this. Yep. So oh, yeah. You can't, you can't get measurements on the door. You've got to have the door and physically oh, measure yeah. it. Then you can set your, your horizontal bar. Yes. And... Uh, if, yeah, I, that works if I may, yes, Steve, yep. Steve Cook from Katua Bay Design, I designed it. Um, I sent to Erica yesterday a revised plan. I don't, I don't see it up there because the, that plan shows 16 feet left to right, right. 14 so feet front to back. We flipped it. Error. It's 16 feet front to back and 14 feet left to right. We can note that for the record. Sorry, yesterday yeah. was a holiday and yeah. Erica has yeah. jury duty yep. today. So yeah, okay. I, yeah, seen her I just now. wanted to correct that so just in case. Yeah, right. it'll be 16 <laughs> wide, 14 off the house where this one shows it 16 off the house, 14 wide. Yeah. But it's but basically, exactly the same it's the same look. Yeah. And I have a Correct, couple yeah. printouts if anyone wants to. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. it's literally like well, one for the, the same. Nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's the same. Yeah, gable roof and same siding, roof trim, everything yeah. to match. Yeah. The existing deck, like Peter said, was is rotting and that's coming off. But n n the existing windows and slidey, sliding door on that side of the house mm -hmm. will remain. Okay. So, okay. so the only demolition and then, removal and this, of the deck. Yeah. This, you know, this area is open, just a small open deck space to put their grill on. And then that's just a set of stairs to come down to an existing walkway. You got an open deck, you're going to put the grill on. Yeah. No grilling inside the uh, screen porch. <laughs> I have just a, a comment, option wish, but nothing to do really with it, just that... Looking at this other picture, um, I know shutters aren't as desirable as they used to be. They don't have a function as they used to. But boy, I would love to see some of these shutters back on. Uh, you know, there are actually beautiful. there are shutters on the house actually. On the rest, even the yeah, I know they're on the front. Oh, yeah, the front. From um, this picture, you can see them coming out. And, oh, okay. Uh, Although yeah. looking at what you see there, there have to be pretty narrow yes, yeah. shutters holding yeah. out. Yeah, okay. and the, all, the other thing, too, is also she's going to get ready. Um, she's going to, with the porch construction, also have some painting done on the exterior of the Actually, house. Actually, the one place I think it would be nice to put a window is in that first floor porch. That right there. Yeah. If you put shutters there, then at least that one whole side would have shutters. Yep. Just... <coughs> Not oh, yeah. telling you you have to do yeah, yeah. anything. I think it would be nice. Well, she is a designer and she does love the house and has done a pretty good job so far keeping the character and enjoying it as it as it is because it used. She's got the little salty dog emblem on the uh, door because it used to be the bed and breakfast. Yep. Adding that one shutter would really, especially being on Main Street, you know, it just. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's. Okay. What surprises me, <clears throat> one of the things that I object to is the automatic placement of downspouts at the corner. There are sometimes better places to put it. For instance, in this instance, halfway down the wall, the downspout could come down right to the corner of the pouch, couch, the porch, and pick up that uh, gutter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, wrap it around and then bring it down the wall instead of the other side. We have to wrap it around the corner. And I hate to cover nice corner boards with a downspout. But you'd also be breaking up the shingled wall, so... Well, sometimes you need to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives you another point of focus, a point of interest. Anyway... 
Is there any public comment? No public comment. Okay. Um, I'll accept a, mo a motion to close the meeting. Public, public I'll meeting. Public I'm sorry. I'll accept. A motion to close. Yeah. Is there a second to close the public comment? Second. Okay. And someone to do the motions. Very nice. Okay. Do you want to do it? Sure. Um, this is regarding uh, Jennifer Lozada, 451 Main Street, Tuit, map 022, parcel 023, built in 1985. 1895. I'm sorry, 1895. For a partial demolition to remove the existing porch and construct a screened in porch. The first motion um, I move after review and consideration of the public testimony, the application, and associated materials. The significant building at 451 Main Street Pituit is a preferably preserved significant building. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. <clears throat> and I will impose an 18-month delay. A nay will not impose an 18-month delay. Nancy? Nay. George? Nay. Barbara? Nay. Fran, I, Fran, I vote nay. So down to the bottom, yep. the bottom one. If I move that in accordance with Section 112-3F, the Bonstable Historical Commission determines that the partial demolition of the building located at 451 Main Street, Katuit, is not detrimental to the historical, cultural, and architectural heritage or resources of the town. Is there a second? I'll second that. An I vote will determine that the partial demolition of the single family structure is not detrimental. No demolition delay is imposed. Nancy? Aye. George? Aye. Barbara? Aye. And I vote aye. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Nice Thank to you. see everybody. Nice to see you, Steve. Good to be up and around. So. There's no um, community preservation committee update. Any upcoming historical events? Society is going to have a jazz I think, trio or a quartet, might be a quartet, in behind their house. Now, this is across from Sturgis Library in Barnstable Village, and it's four to six. We have a suggested donation of ten dollars, and in full disclosure, my husband is one of the people in the band. <laughs> and then there's a really <coughs> big there's two that are coming up, but we're gonna have a meeting, but I'll just tell you quickly, I'll tell, tell you one. And that is at Lemuel Snow, who was a Revolutionary War soldier. Did I tell you all this last mm -hmm. month? No. Who I didn't know. And you don't want to confuse him with Lemuel Shaw, who was the um, Chief Justice of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts the Supreme Court from 1830 to 1860. This gentleman, Lemuel Snow, from the 1700s, was a Revolutionary War soldier. And his relatives have done an incredible bunch of research and I think the program's going to be very well put uh, very well presented and that's going to be at the 1717 meeting house on the 19th which is a Friday at 7 p.m. and I have a feeling you might say yeah revolutionary war yeah but I think we're going to pack the house I think it's it's exciting this man lived here until uh, he was 54 I think in 1812 or 1814 and then he moved to Indiana and because he moved People forgot he was West Barnstable, so it's kind of like mm. we're mm -hmm. discovering somebody. So that's the 19th of May at the 1717 meeting house. Do you know part of the Snow family of yes. the Snowman? Yes. Yeah, well, like Edward Rowe Snow in Boston? Well, the thing, no, I don't, I may probably, I don't know mm. that, but they're also trying to, to bring him in connection with um, the Snow family in East Ham, and they're, we've got a lot of information. Yeah. So. 
leave it at that. Yeah, he was there for a lot of big events, and, and that will be described at the program. Mm. Great. And the 250th anniversary of the revolution is coming up in 2026. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn our revolution, revolutionary yeah. information. I just want to add as an aside, I was watching Antiques Roadshow, and somebody in Indiana had a copy of the authorization for the, um, what's now the Tracer Museum, um, signed by Abraham Lincoln. Wow. Maybe, I don't know. I wanted to jump through the TV, TV, TV and grab it. <laughs> now, they have it in Indiana. person had it in Indiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would have been great. We'll do a field trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So, um, <clears throat> so um, we'll be going... I hope back to uh, the remote meetings starting next month. Um, it's been approved by the uh, by the governor, the bill. And, uh, nice to see you, Barbara. Well, thank you. <laughs> you, you mean live. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah. And um, our clerk isn't here, so um, we can't approve the minutes. And um, the only thing that wasn't on this is about the... Uh, nominations for uh, significant historical people and renovations to the houses. Any? You meant the preservation? Yeah. That was sent. Uh, I wasn't aware that Erica is away. So I think she's she, uh, something else. So um, I talked with Kate today and said if she could forward those on to you. Those were typed up as promised and said. So that's the guidelines, yeah. correct? Yeah. The, going according to the camera and making the relevant amendments according to the meeting. But the, you should have those. Okay. No disrespect. I didn't send them to you personally because you sent a message to my email. I think it was a bulk one that you had been hacked, and I kind of wanted to be careful that's, about that's that. That's okay. Is it possible for me to ask an informal question? That in, are we... <laughs> sure. Um, so my contractor is can, If you could sit, just so we can hear you on the mic. My, was, my contractor is replacing a couple of windows on the back to match the ones that are on the front. Um, and Erica had asked if these, you know, she met, referenced this meeting. I um, wanted to know that we weren't, if we were replacing any headers or not. It's his opinion that the headers are probably not up to code and it probably will have to get replaced, but we won't know till he takes them out. So I don't know what we do next. Does that's, anybody have any? That's the header for the expansion of the kitchen? No, no. This, these are just the windows on the back. Oh. Which are, are, so to match, because there's the 1970s Anderson crank out windows yeah, and some yeah. aluminum vinyl. They, they're wonderful, I have to tell you. So I'm trying to make them match the ones on the front. Okay. Um, and she just said she had responded to the building and uh, permit question to get the building permit approved for the window replacements. Um, could you confirm that this permit for window replacements only and not any other work and confirm that we know structural changes, um, uh, something about headers. But, but the other one was the headers. Yeah. So, um, but that's something that I, you should have brought up to be the part conference. of that. Because this wasn't trial. part of that but plan. if you now make a new application, am I correct? Make a new application. Well, I, I don't know that it is, was my question. Well, that's what I, I think. Well, that's a question finish. for the building department. Well, isn't it? this is one part. If you put, I think you have to, and, and we can get it said, yes, definitely or not, but I think you have to now apply as something new, but it's, it probably won't be a big deal. Probably it'll be looked at by Fran, right. and okay. she'll sign off on it. So, well, it's sort so, of separate, but it's... Yeah, so that's why I was really confused, to to, and I, I didn't want to kind of like throw, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Next time when you do your next... The, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, so, the, yeah, I would advise we can to resolve this offline. So what we have is sort of yeah. an application, a pre-application process right. where if you are Because, doing, well, we had already applied for the building permit to replace the windows yeah. that are not part of the demo or anything else. 
Yeah. And I w didn't want to kind of like be like, well. That sounds like just a yeah. standard yeah. thing you're going to have to yeah. just do a little bit. Another yeah. form and we can just, okay. Exactly. And okay. And the chair will review. And if she does feel like you need to come to a meeting, then you'll, you'll reapply. But if okay. she doesn't, then no. she'll say. Would, yeah. would this be a minor modification? Um, no, separate, but okay. again, based on, it sounds like the conversation, probably something yeah. that gets administratively signed off on, but. So fill out, an, we filled out a build, building permit already, so that's kind of pending in this system. So do I apply for another historical? No, talk to Erica and I afterwards. Okay, and we'll all right, get that's you what the, I want to Get know. you through the process. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well. <laughs> All is not lost. No, but I, I just was call. like kind of, we're, we're, <laughs> and then he's like, I don't know, we'll, every town's different, you know? Yeah. So Sometimes you can reopen structural. it up and then yeah. you can discuss it's it. It's a 10-foot window and there's probably a two-by-four above it. Yeah, like it's just, it's a piece of junk because it's probably done in the 70s. It depends. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you can reopen it and then discuss it and add it on. I'm sure that's 70-year-old house, 80, 90. Just, and you don't know. Just a standard procedure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right, because yeah. I was like, I don't, know that call planning yeah okay all right great thank you yeah. Yeah. And well, then, it's so just structural it could be oh, yeah no the, the building inspector just referenced it there's yeah. no structural changes but but then erica flagged it and said we were coming in front of you like i said i think yeah. it's it part of it, that yep yeah. yeah. okay we'll come back we'll figure it out all right, yeah. all right thank, thank you. you bye so we can't do the minutes so this matter's not reasonably anticipated, and then adjourn. That's the only one I mentioned was the uh, the preservation awards. Yeah. So we can. So uh, if that could be that you wow. should have that when Erica gets back, she can forward that on to you. Yeah. Okay. What's this uh, forwarded to twenty twenty five? Where did I see that? The remote extension has oh, been yeah, yeah authorized. Twenty twenty five. Yeah. By the legislature, not indefinitely, but through March 30th, 2025. So this is, uh, yeah. yeah. So we'll meet again in person, likely in two years. <laughs> yeah, when you said five people come before mm -hmm. us, I thought, gee, I'm going to be here till 5 30. Six, isn't it? Hmm? No, it's six. Six. Yeah? Yeah. six. Yeah. Yeah, Madam I Chair, would you like to some of, One of those was, um, which one was it? I tried to extend every one of them as much as I could. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The, you know, I got the, the Centerville house. I think that was it. No, the uh, Scudder house. They sent that as a chairman um, sign off, but I couldn't figure out the. I'm. I'm a lot happier when a couple of months ago we had someone who showed the side of the house and then a drawing of what they were yeah. proposing for the side of the house. It's just so much easier to understand. So we're working with Fran to create an actual form that people can submit um, when they, uh, to that question, when they're looking for a- Instruction on how to apply. And yeah. Exactly, yeah. Well, you know, to make it very easy so the chair just has to look at it and say, okay, existing proposed, okay, or existing proposed, not okay, go to a meeting. So, and then something for her to sign yeah. off. So we're not relying on like an email in this. System. And hopefully they'll do it, you know, when we have the meeting so you don't have to, scroll back to, you know, another view and scroll down to another view and I think it would just make yeah. it cleaner. Madam Chair, would you like a motion to adjourn? Yes. A motion to adjourn. For a second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Why do they take